Hi, my name is Jay Kramer. I'm a solution architect here at Project Leadership Associates. Today we're going to talk about Azure ML. Machine learning is about using science to predict future outcomes, to plan for future performance. Azure ML breaks down the barriers to entry for creating these predictive models that otherwise was closed off and only available to data scientists using coding. It also allows for an interface for deployment of your solutions without having to hire somebody else to create and interpret the data scientist's outcomes. Azure Machine Learning Studio is the primary interactive visual tool that you would use to build, test, and iterate your predictive analytics solutions in the cloud. You use simple drag and drop of data sets and analysis modules on the canvas. You simply connect them together to form an experiment. What you'll do is see a result that tells you how well the experiment is going to perform against your prediction. And then you can quickly edit, re-edit, and iterate through to make a better prediction. Once you're completed, you would want to publish and share this experiment as a web service and then be able to share that within the marketplace or through an API. Why do we need Azure ML? We'd like to get away from the traditional BI and create an advanced analytics capability where we're understanding what will happen and how we can make it happen. What are some advanced analytics scenarios? Here's a list of a few. Sales and marketing, finance and risk, customers and channel, operations workforce. The goal of machine learning is to achieve a better chance of success than what you could achieve with a pure random guess. Once you've gained access to Studio Azure ML, you'll notice that on the landing page, you'll see some helpful videos to help you get started. These are useful videos created by Microsoft data scientists to cover some of the basic topics of Azure ML Studio, including getting your data, processing your data, creating a predictive model, and publishing a predictive model. Azure Machine Learning Studio is the primary interactive visual tool that you will use to build, test, and iterate through your predictive analytics solution. So I'm going to switch over and take a look at the experiments section. These are pre-saved predictive solutions or predictive solutions that we've been working on. You have web services. This is a list of experiments that have been published. We haven't had any published right now, but we will walk through that. Your data sets, these are the data sets that you've uploaded and made available to your machine learning studio. Trained models and some settings. Let's go, jump back over to experiment and actually open one up. This experiment actually takes uh, income data from uh, a sample data set from Microsoft and pulls in demographic information and income information. We would use this experiment to really classify income levels into two buckets, less than or equal to $50,000 a year or greater than $50,000 a year. And the resultant prediction would predict the income level that the person would fall into. This might be good, for instance, a targeted marketing campaign where the marketing department may want to understand the income levels to target the correct campaign to certain groups of people. But they, they may not know their income levels, but they do have some additional information about basic demographic information. In order to do that, they would need to understand what income level and use a predictive model to estimate that. As we look through the widgets on the left-hand side, um, there's an area for saved data sets. We can see that there's a bunch of sample data sets. As we type into the screen here in the search bar, we can actually find and search down and filter to different data sets quickly. The data transformations allow you to add columns and rows, do some sampling and splitting, fixing data, filtering data out, things of that nature. Down in the feature selection, first of all, what is a feature? Well, a feature is the same thing as pretty much a column, variable, or attribute. In the machine learning section, you'll see ba the basics for building your experiment. 
these are the basic building blocks for evaluating, initializing the model, scoring, tra and training the model. These are not necessarily in the order of operation, but all components to help you select the correct machine learning algorithms and see how they, well they work. Let's talk quickly about the sample experiment that you see here. There's basically five steps to an experiment. First, we need to identify a business scenario. In this case, uh, the business scenario is the marketing department wants to predict outcomes to target campaigns. First, we'll get data. So the data is pulled from the uh, adult census income, which is a sample data set. Then we'll kind of clean up the data and then we'll uh, select an algorithm. In this case, we've selected two different algorithms. Um, these algorithms are for specific type of data that we pulled in, which is, is a binary classification. And then what we want to do is figure out if these algorithms are actually uh, able to predict with a high level of confidence uh, the income level. The split uh, module splits the data in two pieces, one to train the model and one to test the results of the model. Uh, we use a scoring, scoring module ag against the output of the training to see how well it does, and then the evaluate helps us visualize those results. Um, all the green check marks mean that we've already ran this experiment, so we're going to actually take a quick look at the results. And without getting into too much detail on the specific measures here, um, the basic premise is typically the higher the curve is to the left corner or one, the better performing it is in the ROC plot. And then the AUC number, which rep represents the area under the curve, the closer to, that, to one that is, the better predictor it is. As we saw from the curve, the two boosted decision, two class boosted decision tree is actually a better performing model. So we're actually gonna score the model. So we select the train data and click the score model icon down below. As you can see, it's updating the scoring of experiment and it automatically truncates all the unnecessary modules on here because um, it knows that we're on this, we, we've created a specific scoring experiment. What we're gonna do is run that scored experiment and then publish it so that it's available to make our predictions. Once that scoring model has been run, it's ready to be published as a web service. So we'll click the web service icon and we'll see that it's actually publishing out to our web services. Over on our left navigation, under web services, we'll see that web service is now available to test. There's a test button. Click the test button and we can actually enter our data in here and the output should be a prediction on our income level as well as the probability that that prediction is correct. Thanks for joining this session on Azure ML. My name is Jake Kramer with Project Leadership Associates. You can reach me at jkramer at projectleadership.net.